Why, hello, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. All you newbies, hello, welcome. You hit that subscribe button if you like and get notified on my uploads in the future. We are looking at the energy in September for you and your person, the person you have on your mind, whoever it is, you intuitively will know. So get in tune. And we are gonna go ahead and begin here. This is for sun, moon, and rising. Okay, so if it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements, your moon and your rising. Keep in mind, this is general, you know this, right? This general, everything's not gonna resonate. Just take what does, reflect on, and move on from that. What energy surrounds Gemini and the person for September? Okay, that's it. So overall energy here, the Empress, hello, with the Ace of Pentacles underneath. So I'm hearing new beginning, of course, but I'm really hearing like money moves, okay? <laughs> like you are embracing some kind of financial journey. If it's not financial, if it's not money, fine. This is just a foundation, a stability in yourself, a security in this relationship even, okay? However you wanna resonate. But what I'm getting in this overall energy is that you are in your power. You are in your power. I'm feeling more drawn towards you particularly than in this connection. But I feel like this power, this, um, you know, this energy that you're exuding may bring in this new beginning. And this new beginning right here could be, could be coming in with, another body with another energy behind it so um let's see what's going on i just i'm really just feeling here like new things are about to be popping off okay if your bank account isn't going to be skyrocketing i definitely feel like the security for yourself or a bond that you may have with somebody is going to improve and it's going to venture venture you on a new beginning you're in this like feel good state you're this empress you're embracing your feminine energy, you're calm, you know, you're just being very confident and feeling good, letting it flow, letting it go. That's what I'm getting here for you, Gemini. So we have the devil that wanted to come out. So that is a toxicity. That is something that I feel like maybe has been surrounding you with the chariot next. Okay. The moon, you're getting a lot of major cards that are coming out here. So there is some significance to what's going on with you and this person, all right, or a person, and then death. So what I'm feeling like here, for whatever person, whoever it is, you intuitively know, as I start speaking, it's going to come to you, and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that is the person, okay? But I feel like there was a toxic relationship that you were in or a connection that you were dealing with. I feel like there was a lot of constraints, a lot of... um what is the word? Not change. It shows change. But, you know, like rules or like just things, expectations. That's the word I'm looking to. That were expected of you in this relationship. And I felt like, or it may, you know, and even in the case, it could have been you having expectations on a relationship. But either way, there was expectations there that were not flowing well with the dynamic of whoever it is you were dealing with. Okay. I feel like you've moved on from that. You've moved forward. You've moved past that. Okay, you came into this sense of balance. You came into feeling good. Came into um, working on the things that you desire and that you wish for, the things that you want. Facing them head on, straightforward. No more playing around. It's like, I I'm going to face the things that bother me and then I'm going to face the things that are going to propel me into that change. You have the moon that wants to follow after that, which is, you know, inner emotions, secrets, things that are in the dark. So these are things that you were feeling that you were dealing with, dealing with this toxic connection or this toxic situation. I feel like it's propelled you to one, face your fears, face the things that you needed to do and move past the pillars. You see there's two towers back here. You had to go past those towers. Maybe you even went through a tower moment in some cases, okay? It's like they were waiting to happen. They're sitting out there for you to walk through to be transformed. And I say transformed because the death card has shown its face as well. And 
that is, you know, at the end here. So there was a transformation that has happened for you, Gemini. That has brought you in this current energy of power and new beginning, okay? Security, self-worth, feeling good about yourself. Definitely seeing yourself in a different light where you can project confidence and feel secure in that as well. So you release this toxic energy and move forward, face the fears, face the things that you were dealing with inside and dealt with them. So you can move on to this happy place, this 10 of pentacles, okay? Because there was a transformation that had to happen in order to get there, in order to move into that 10 of pentacles, you had to transform yourself. And I feel like you knew that. I feel like you realized that I can't be my old way anymore, or I can't, and in and, and old way, I mean like, however you dealt with your emotions or however you dealt with your feelings or however you communicated to people, any of those factors that are involved here that had to change in order for the betterment of yourself. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling. You know, um, you had to leave it, leave it behind, get rid of it. All right. Knight of swords, see right under that devil. You had to communicate that that was bothering you. That was bothering you. Okay. Five of cups. That was bothering you, whatever this hold was, whatever it is that wasn't making you feel so great inside. Like, and I feel like you knew that. And finally you were like, okay, let me just speak my truth. Let me come in. Let me just say, this is it. This is it. This is how I feel. This is what I'm thinking, whatever it is. This is my situation. Whatever truth had to be said was said in order to release this devil energy. All right. And moving forward, facing those fears. Like there's that regret, sorrow feeling, right? That's right underneath the chariot. And I feel like you had to move past all that because that's where you were stuck. That energy, the devil energy, the toxicness was making you stuck going back and forth. Okay. You might even, in some cases, I'm feeling like you had to rationalize the situation or relationship that it that was bringing that in like constantly trying to make excuses in your mind to why it is and going back and forth but you're moving past that you're getting past that you don't want to deal with it anymore you spoke your truth you're set you know facing your fears moving through those pillars transforming yourself so you can be the empress okay so you can sit on your throne and be pretty and not really care and just go with the flow be in your truth, be in your power, right? So what else do we have here? All right, so the change of perspective have has come in. You have changed the way that you think about yourself. All right, after facing your fears, it sits under the moon. After facing those fears, you have changed the way that you see yourself and that you view others, whatever, your surroundings. You're making that change, that difference, okay? So the four of cups wanted to come out in reverse. So it's no longer not taking the opportunity. You are taking those opportunities now. You are reaching out and saying, you know what? I know I have this going on and this consumed my time. And this is what um, I thought was making me happy. And all this time I had something out here lingering that I didn't even know that I could grab that will take me on a new journey and a new adventure. And now you have grabbed it. You have grabbed it. It sits right under the Ten of Pentacles. So that is bringing you full abundance, okay? This is celebration to me sometimes. That's what I'm feeling like here. This is fellowship. This is just getting to know others, opening yourself up to the world. That is what I'm feeling. You grab that cup and now you are open. You are flowing. You are moving. And I feel the confidence that's behind you with that Empress. Like, you are like, I got this. I went through all that, but I got this now. Okay, look, and here is the tower that wants to come out under the death. Like I said, you had to go through these moments. You had to have a realization in order for you to transform. And you have, you did that. It was just kind of like something like was bam. You were going through so much, Gemini, thinking so much, rationalizing so much dealing with your emotions back and forth, trying to make sense of whatever this toxic connection or situation was, that finally enough was enough. And you said, I am done. I am not doing this no more. Here, I'm speaking my truth. I am now moving forward, facing the fears that I had on myself because of this toxicity and moving past that to reach my abundance, to grab that opportunity and to transform. And now you sit here 
in this energy of the Empress with this new beginning. So I really feel like I'm really feeling like here, Gemini, there is a new person that is going to be coming in towards you. There is a new somebody, okay? Um, I don't know. You know in regards to this toxic person that we are speaking of or relationship or connection or what it was, okay? So we're going to get the person, all right, and how they're feeling about you. Um, I do feel like there is someone new around, someone new. Like it opened up that door to allow someone else to come in once you let go of all that other baggage and change from that devil energy. So, I mean, this I feel like is something really major for you, Gemini, because there's a lot of major cards that are out right now. Like you have the Empress, you have the devil, the chariot, the moon, the death, and the hangman and the tower. Okay, so this Capricorn energy, Cancer, Pisces, okay, um, it's just Scorpio, a lot of water, water energy, you know, with that, and that's you dealing with the emotions that you were going through, that you were probably even, like, pushing down, that you were trying to avoid, um, but it just got to a point where you could not contain that no more. And you had to let it out. So how your person is feeling about you. One card jumped out. Ooh, it is the Seven of Cups. Ooh, and the Two of Pentacles. And the Hierophant, okay? Taurus energy. Taurus. So I'm feeling like this person right here. I feel like this is this new person coming in. Not necessarily this toxic person that we were talking about or situation. So this person, I feel like sees, um, sees happiness with you, but I feel like they haven't quite came in yet. Or, I mean, they could have in your timeline, but I feel like whoever this new person is, sees, you know, options in some way like things that you can do together things that can make you happy like they dream about the happiness that y'all could you know ensue and I feel like it's just a lot going through in their mind like ooh, you know like they're daydreaming about this with you or, or this or going on this trip or um you know having a dinner with you seeing a movie with you there's just all these things that they embody and think about when they think of you and I feel like here this is somebody that is a good partner with you that helps balance you as well. And I feel like they feel like that towards you. Like you're this amazing person, Gemini, that you bring something to the table that keeps me in a steady um, flow of joy and happiness and feeling good. You know, I'm feeling like, you know, the ups are better than the downs with you. And with the higher font there, you know, this could be a Taurus okay, that's coming through, um, but it's just, you know, knowledge and gaining knowledge, you know, that's a card of higher knowledge, and in this spread as a relationship, it's just getting to know you, it's, it's being intrigued by you, it's, um, I'm feeling like just wanting to know more about you, and really understanding who you are to a point where they are just so, it's like they admire you. They're in awe of you. So, anyways. What else do we have for uh, Gemini's person here? What else do we have for Gemini's person? How they feel? Oh, yes. The Six of Wands. So, that is feeling accomplished, achievement. You know, very... I mean, you could say pride in some way. Good way. Good pride. You know, just feeling good. Like, they feel good around you. I said that already. Look at all that fire and spark adventure that's on your way. They feel adventurous with you. See, they have those ideas. Um, they might be a little spicy. You know what I mean? They like to have fun. That's what I'm hearing. They like to have fun with you. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So they themselves see you as a very independent person. And they feel that towards you. And they, I, I feel like as well with them... They are independent in nature as well. They're not a needy person. They're not a clingy person. They're not somebody that's going to suffocate you or put standards and limits on you, what you can and can't do in a relationship. They're very easygoing, um, and they do their own thing as well. You guys have fun together, okay? You will have fun together if you haven't met this person yet. I just feel the dynamic here is just a very flirty, very fun. You're getting to know each other. It's at the beginnings, like I said. 
you're starting this new beginning. They see you as somebody that brings in happiness towards them um, and all the possibilities of what you guys could be together and achieve together. Okay, what else do we have for Gemini's person? Spirit, what else do we have for Gemini's person? The temperance. Oh, I love that because I feel like this, the timing is just come. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Eight of wands and the nine of wands. So there has been some divine timing going on here. I feel like patience that was needed. I feel like here, this person and even you in a way have been waiting for this moment to come together. And I feel like you both fill each other's cups. You both you know, or have that balance. You both are grounded and you're in touch with your emotions as well as in touch with reality. So there is that, um, there is that feeling of stability within yourself and very, they have stability within themselves. And because you both are who you are and know who you are, coming together is a lot easier. And there is no extra, you know, there is no drama. There is no limits. There is no expectations. It's like, let's just go with the flow here. And I feel like it's been a while since you've had a relationship like this, Gemini, since you had somebody to actually, you know, understand you in some way and not put limitations on you. That actually just generally care for you and you care for them. They don't bring any extra drama to the um, mix. And... I feel like it has been a long time waiting and even for them and even for them. And I feel like the universe or, you know, in some ways brought you together now. And there is this fast momentum of, you know, moving forward. And it might not even be moving forward. I'm hearing like just a fast movement of passion, you know, just care, love, all these emotional feelings that you get when you're around each other. I feel like, you know, you just get so happy and you're just so in love. <laughs> I don't know. Like you just, oh, like you just, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Um, but like I said, you guys are very stable in your nature. You're very secure in your self-esteem and who you are and what you are um, to each other so there is this nine of wands and I feel like with that that's just that's just showing me for you both that you both have these boundaries healthy boundaries because you've been hurt before you both have these boundaries that keep you sane and keep you well where you're not bending over backwards or you're not you're filtering out any extra drama, okay? Because you've been hurt by things like that in the past. And I feel like you get that and they understand that. And I feel like this is why this dynamic that is happening is it's so easy right now. It's fun. It's good. I don't feel like there's anything, you know, off the wall. Like, this is very a new connection. So it's really hard for me to really read into anything other than you guys, I feel like, your energy is good. Like it's good right now. Like it's good. You're getting to know each other. You're in your power. They're in their independence. So it works. There's no attachment. There's no devil energy there. There's no neediness. There's no worry. It's just easy and flowing. So let me just get one more card. Let me show me one more card here for this is extra. I wasn't doing that, but, it, but it's like, I don't know. I just feel like I want to do it. So I'm doing it. One more card for Gemini. Look at that. Four of swords. You can relax. You can take it easy. You can set your mind to rest with this person. There is no worry. You're just chill. You're good. So there you go. That's what I have for you, Gemini. If this resonates at all, please leave me a comment down below. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.